everyone, it's Miss Judy, and today we're going to take a look at addition using 10 frames. Um, these are 10 frames. Um, the top part here, it's basically a large rectangle with 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 frames. Our problem that we're going to use the 10 frames for today is 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 equals what? Well, we're going to use the 10 frames to make 10 to calculate this problem, 8 plus 4. And if you want to do this at home, you can draw the 10 frames. I have two of them. Um, one up here, again, it's a rectangle and 10 squares. And the second one down here is for the number four. The one up top is for the number eight, and the one on the bottom is for the number four. And I'm going to be using two different colors. For the number eight, I'm going to use these red counters. And for the number four, I'm going to be using these purple counters. So let's get started by putting the counters into the 10 frame. So we're going to start with the number 8. So we're going to move these into the top 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So here are our 8 counters to represent the number 8. Now we're going to move to the second frame. So we'll take the purple ones and we'll go 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so this is basically a visual representation of our problem, 8 plus 4. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make 10 to make the addition problem a little bit easier. So let's look at the top. We have 8 counters. How many more do we need to make 10? Well, let's take a look. We have 1, 2. We have 2 spaces opened. So we can move some of the purple counters from the number four up here to the top to make the number 10. So let's do that. So let's grab one of these and move that one up. And then let's grab another one and move that one up. Now, how many do we have in the 10 frame? On the top 10 frame, we have 10, so we've made 10 from the top 10 frame. Now, how many are on the bottom 10 frame that originally had four counters? Now we have two counters. So what's the addition problem now? Well, the addition problem now is 10 plus two. Well, 10 plus two is easier to, to add in our heads. 10 plus two is 12. If 10 plus two is 12, that means that 8 plus 4 equals 12. So we took our 8, we made it a 10, we took the 4, and we made it a 2 using the 10 frame. All together, that gave us the number 12. Okay, now let's review what we just learned. So we started with the equation 8 plus 4. Okay, so we started with 8 plus 4, and we had two 10 frames, this one on top, this one on the bottom. The one on top we used to represent the number 8, and the one on the bottom we used to represent the number 4. And to help with the calculation, we're going to make 10. The way we would make 10 is on the top 10 frame, we have 8 but we had two slots available. So we can move two of the purple counters from the bottom frame. So we'll just put them here. And I'll cross them out from over here. And when we did that, that gave us the number 10. Now we're looking at adding 10 and the, what's left on the bottom 10 frame. Well, what's left on the bottom 10 frame is 
two counters. So it's now 10 plus 2. Well, 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. So we took 8 plus 4, we made it 10 plus 2, that gave us the number 12. So 8 plus 4 is equal to the number 12. Now, because of the commutative properties of addition, and what that means is, see this 8 plus 4? In addition, you can switch these numbers, and you'll still get the same answer. So 8 plus 4 equals 12. That means 4 plus 8 also equals 12. And when we go down here, and we look at our 10, 10 plus 2 equals 12. Because of the commutative property of addition, I can switch these two numbers and get the same answer. So I can make this 2 plus 10 equals 12. So look at that. We started with one equation, and we came up with different ways to get the answer. We started with 8 plus 4. We made 10 and we were able to have 2 left over. So we know that 8 plus 4 equals 12, so we check. And we know 8 plus 4 equals 12 because we were able to make 10, 10 plus 2, and that gave us 12. Now because 8 plus 4 equals 12, we also know 4 plus 8 equals 12. And because 10 plus 2 equals 12, we know that 2 plus 10 equals 12. So look at that. We have four addition problems that we were able to make with just the initial one, 8 plus 4, because we were able to make 10 and because of the commutative properties of addition. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you want to, you can continue with lesson number two, where we look at another equation also using the 10 frame.